as you can see, getting ground zero to look like its old self again is going to take some time. So far, only one of seven buildings has been reconstructed, with total completion expected in 2015. And Brian Rafferty's been a witness to the rebirth at Ground Zero. Rafferty donates his time and money to Project Rebirth, a nonprofit organization that's documenting the tower's rise from the rubble, one picture frame at a time. We started filming shortly after the attacks to capture the rebuilding of the site that you see behind you. We have 13 time-lapse cameras all around the site right now, including one that's in this churchyard where we're talking right now. The objective is to use these time-lapse cameras to film the buildings as they come up over the years. And we're also interviewing 10 subjects, 10 people who were directly affected by the attacks. When it's all said and done, Project Rebirth will have stored well over 700 hours of video. And those images, once released, are expected to lift the spirits of those that have suffered from the loss of a loved one. It is a, a, a subject of huge interest um, for emotional and historic reasons. The vast majority of the people that you see around you as you're walking downtown that don't work here are people who've come to see the Ground Zero site. Um, for New Yorkers, it remains a, a very emotional subject that one keeps just below the surface. But that what you see is where thousands of innocent people died that range from people who were window washers and busboys at Windows in the World to multi-million dollar investment bankers. People, New Yorkers of every background, and in fact people from many countries around the world were, were killed for no other reason than they were going and do, going about their daily business. And that's, that's, I don't believe that will ever be forgotten about the site. So many people really have tried to, to have closure by making something good out of something awful.